True with Guns America, have you ever wanted to have a superpower? If you've ever wanted to have a superpower, I'm here today to tell you that you actually can pay for one. And uh, that's pretty wild when you think about it. And what we're talking about are thermal imagers. So these things are actually Armacite contractor thermal imagers. They can be mount, they can be used handheld, or you can mount them on a weapon. So they work as a sight as well. Now, the reason that these are a superpower, unlike night vision, these are not night vision, is night vision magnifies ambient light. So it takes from the stars, the moon, street lamps, uh, and it magnifies that light millions of times, and it gives you a brighter image. Thermal does not do that. You're not looking through an optic. It's not magnifying light. It has nothing to do with light. It works the same in a cave as it does in the daylight. It is literally a germanium lens, a sensor that goes through a computer processor and creates an image out of heat. So basically it measures the difference in heat, turns into an image that you can then recognize and see, uh, essentially becoming a superpower. You really can't hide from this. Nothing that, with, that puts out heat can hide from this because it is amazing. So if you got the money, you can have a superpower. W what we're gonna be doing today is comparing two models of the Armasite Contractor, the 320 and the 640. The 320 is a 25 millimeter objective. The 640 is a 50 millimeter objective. We're gonna be talking about the features and comparing We've done side-by-side -side comparison. As you can see, I have them both mounted on a plate here. This is called the MUB. It's got uh, M-lock and quarter 20 threads all over it, which means that you can mount stuff and like spotting scopes and a rangefinder. In this case, two thermals side-by-side -side so that we can show you the difference in the image. Now, why not just get the bigger, better one? Well, it costs more, right? It costs a little more, and so we're gonna show you today what the differences are. Both of them share many of the same features, but here's what I wanna tell you as far as pros. I have been using thermal for a very long time. I had one of the very first commercial uh, thermal weapon mounted sights available. I wanted it a three gun match. It was worth close to $8,000 at the time and it was no way as good as these, not even close. Um, but I've been using them for many, many years. And so I have a lot of experience. I have hunted uh, hogs with them. I've hunted coyotes with them and, and other small animals. Uh, so I, and I've actually even done a depredation hunt on elk with these before. So these, uh, I have a lot of experience to talk about this. My very favorite feature of these arm site contractor thermals is the controls. Many of the thermals I've used, especially in the dark, are insanely hard unless you read braille with your fingers to tell what you're pushing on. Meaning like they might have a different like texture to one button than the other, but one of them are, one of them's square, one of them's round, one of them's a triangle, and you're like, what the freak am I feeling while you're trying to like shoot an animal or a target? So this is a really easy. It's easy to turn on, it's easy to turn off, it's easy to adjust the menu. It is the easiest thermal I've ever used for controlling the menus in. And it's the easy, by far the easiest to use in the dark, and it's by far the easiest to use with gloves on when it's cold, which is often when we hunt. So to turn this on, you simply push down and you rotate this. You cannot, and that's on now, it is now on. You don't have to hold a button for a certain amount of time. It will not inadvertently turn on. In fact, if I just try and turn this, I cannot just turn it on. So if it's in your pack uh, or on your gun, it's not gonna get bumped and turn on and drain your battery, which I've had that happen with other thermals before. So you turn it on and then to control the menus, you simply rotate these wheels, which have very tactile sort of almost like scope-like clicks, or you push them down and hold them to get into different menus and then you turn them. So really, really simple and easy to use. In fact, my favorite. I'm gonna show you a couple other things here that are really nice. One of them is that they both have a record button. It's a separate button. It's got a rubberized feel. It's right here on the side. You literally just reach over here and you push this and the unit will start recording video. You can also stream that to your phone through an app. It'll do Bluetooth. 
Uh, you can do USB out. It's got a lot of features. It's got gyroscopes and compasses and GPS inside it. I'll be honest with you, I don't use any of that stuff. It's got a range finder that you can measure with lines. I also don't use that. Uh, it does have a pick rail. Both of these models have a pick rail on the side, which you can mount a red dot on or a range finder or a light if you're running night vision nods or something like that. So um, really kind of interesting features. This is all aluminum strong metal it's not just a cheap plastic housing this is your focus out here on the end that focuses the image and puts it in the, the plane that you're in it's the same on both and then there's also a focus here for the screen or the display that you're seeing inside and these both have a great image inside you're looking at basically a computer screen or something like a phone screen when you look inside this and in order and everyone's eyes are different so this allows you to focus that to your eyes but once you get this focus you don't have to adjust this you adjust this for different distances. Uh, they take two CR123 batteries and Armacite has done some pretty incredible things with the batteries in this and the uh, efficiency. These are more efficient than many of the other manufacturers models. They will run for four straight hours on two batteries. I have used rechargeables because CR123s are expensive and they've worked phenomenally. In fact, often you don't get as many hours out of rechargeables, but I've had no problem getting four hours out of the rechargeables on these Armacite contractors. Uh, and they're easy to put in and to take out. Um, everything's waterproof. It's IP67 rated. It, they're shockproof rated up to 50 BMG. So you don't more than likely have a rifle bigger than a 50 BMG. Uh, to put these on. These are the mounts that they come on. This is the 320 mount and um, it's a quick release American Defense Manufacturing mount. And this is a kinetic development group mount. It's called the S. D lock, the SDE lock, and it's got an Armacite signature on it, but I really, really like this. What it does is you push this button in and it comes right off. It's got, uh, it can't move, it returns to zero, but I mean, you just push this in and then it's literally as simple as getting it connected up and popping it back on. It is completely tight. This pops out and locks it and uh, you're ready to literally go shoot this. If you zeroed it already, you could pop it off, handheld it, stick it back on and you're still going to be i honestly believe within one minute of your zero so speaking of zeroing it's really easy to do i was quite surprised with how easy it was to zero these partly because of how easy the menus are to use um, there's a lot of settings inside. One of my favorite settings is the is what is uh, it's a record setting, and what it allows you to do is is you you set it up so that when this actually senses a shot was fired, it goes back a few seconds and gives you a recording so that you don't have to tell it to record. So you're out hunting, hog shows up, and it will just record what happens. You don't even have to think about it. So that's a really really nice feature. But if you want control, you can also use the record button that is very easy to feed in the dark it's rubbery and round um, that's kind of the deal there uh, they believe it or not these are both 3 to 12 power now look when to understand that completely their native magnification is 3 power so you look through these you're basically looking through 3 power if you go up to 8 power or 12 power you're digitally zooming and it's easy to do that on here but you're going to obviously when you digital zoom it's like zooming in on your computer screen you're going to get a lot of pixelization the image doesn't actually get better so you might get closer but it's going to look like garbage so i don't and that's not just the armor side that's anybody's um, thermal that you start digitally zooming in on so that's kind of the story there so really what you're comparing is the three power we've got lots of video and b-roll showing that now look how far can you see something that's what everybody wants to know and we're going to show you uh, some video uh, and kind of you so you get an idea of the detail of what it looks like to see somebody out to a couple hundred yards i believe 250 as well as some animals way out there. Now look, it's an overcast day right now. Depending on your humidity, your temperature, all of these things, you're gonna get different results. But with the 640, you're getting a bigger objective, you're getting a more powerful sensor. And I'm gonna tell you right now, you're gonna be able to see houses and cars and mountains and stuff like that miles away. Uh, I would guess that you could probably see a cow. You may not know for sure it's a cow, but you're gonna be able to see it. Uh, at like close to two miles. Um, no problem seeing like hot spots in a field of hogs or deer at 1,000, 1,200 yards, maybe even out to a mile. Um, and, and you're gonna 
see similar results with the with the 320 uh, processor. It's not going to be quite as good, but you know you're talking about a unit that's like MSRP is 3,300 versus one that's like 5,700. So I have been very impressed by the performance out of this. You're going to get to see the side by side video as I talk. So you know you judge for yourself what how much money you want to spend on this. Look, if you're in an urban environment, you don't hunt. Do you have any need for this superpower? I absolutely believe you do because humans pop in these things, right? You almost can't hide from them. Uh, if if you're human unless you can put a solid wall between you or something like that so if you were to mount a red dot on the side of this put it on something like um, a rifle and um, you're going to be able to see at night now a couple limitations of thermal it does not see through glass it does not see through walls mirrors reflect or glass reflects it just like a mirror so if you're going through your house with this and you happen to see like a uh, or hit a window it's going to reflect your own image back at you so they're not you're not going to see through it um, you can't you can't drive with this because it won't see through your car windshield so there's a few limitations like that that regular night vision does not have but when you get outside of those this stuff is absolutely incredible because it shows you the differences in temperature and puts those into shapes and it's pretty incredible uh, other features that I have not mentioned yet um, are that it, you can choose multiple reticles. So there's all different kinds of reticles that you can choose from so that you can choose what you like. You can change the colors of those. There's also something they call color palettes. So if you've ever, so as you look at this video, recognize that I, my personal preference is white hot. That's what I like. The hottest item out there in my field of view turns white through the thermal. You can change this so that it turns red, so that it turns sepia, so that it turns purple, so that it turns black, um, whatever you really want it to be. You also have full control uh, in the menu over brightness, over contrast, over sharpness, literally anything you really want to control in there, the menu, all that stuff, you have control over how bright or how dim it goes. Uh, there's, it's, it's all in there. Uh, there's different settings for different situations like mountains or just trying to detect anything that's hot. Uh, there's just a lot. So we'll list that for you so that you can see it. We'll throw those specs up. Okay, so field of view is 8.8 .8 by 6.6. .6. It's actually the same in both of them. They weigh under two pounds, which is really impressive. Uh, this, the 320 weighs 1.71, the 640 weighs 1.93 pounds. The 320 is substantially shorter and more compact than the 640 version. Uh, but it's not like a deal breaker either way. So, you know, uh, but if you're looking for a more compact, lighter package, the 320 is smaller. And of course, it's less money, but loaded with features. Uh, one of the other best features about this is, is if you don't want to use batteries, you have the ability to pop this cap off and underneath it is a weather sealed USB-C port that allows you to run an external battery pack on either one of these optics, which means you can almost go unlimited amounts of time and use these. So you could in the daytime run a solar charger on a battery pack and recharge it. And then at night you could tape that to the, to, to the side of your gun, plug it in USB and basically be able to run Overwatch with one of these all night long and never have to worry about running out of batteries, which is a huge uh, feature here on these Armasite contractors. The major difference between the Armasite contractor 320 and the 640 is the core. It also is the price based on the core. By the way, these are mostly manufactured in the United States. They can't say manufactured in the United States because some of the parts come from other places, but the core actually is made in Europe. This is not a Chinese uh, thermal uh, at all. So aluminum housings, they're both very strong. Both of these are 12 micron. So micron is a spec that when you're looking at the specs of a thermal, uh, the micron is kind of like that little Greek shaped U. That means a micron. And that is, uh, that means the measurement of how far apart the pixels are in the, in the thermal. So on a 12 micron, they, have, they, they are closer together. 17 is kind of the old standard, 12 is sort of the new standard, and it gives you slightly more detail and more range. So both of these are the newer standard, the 12 micron in both the 320 and the 640. So when it comes to this superpower, 
uh, it may not be legal in your state to hunt with. So depending on what you're trying to do, you may want to check on that. So for example, in Idaho, we can hunt coyotes with these on private land with no permits or anything necessary. Uh, in Texas, you know, you can go hunt hogs, but we can't use these on big game animals in Idaho. So you're just going to want to check on that. But as far as home defense, uh, security, that kind of stuff. Uh, they're, uh, they're a thermal imaging camera that you can mount onto a, a firearm, and that should not be too big of an issue. So you can go to Guns America for more information. You can also go to Armacite's website where you can see those there. Recognize that those are the MSRP prices, and if you go to a dealer, you may be able to get on one on sale or bundled with something else for a, a bit better price. But appreciate you guys watching. Please like, subscribe, share, and we will see you next time here at Guns America.